All right, y'all, so guess what? Jamal Charles is going to be coming back to the ring in December. Uh, this is according to Mike Commager and BoxingNews24.com. He will be defending his WBC middleweight title against former 154 world title challenger Dennis Hogan, who holds a record of 28-2, one draw, seven KOs. Uh, like I said before, it's in December. So um, what do you guys think about this matchup? Is this somebody you want to see? Um, obviously, me personally, eh, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to still watch it. I'm a uh, Jamal Charles fan. I like to watch all his fights um, just to see how he progresses. But uh, when it comes to both of the Charlo brothers, man, um, when it comes really to middleweight division, period, having to do middleweight, super middleweight uh, division, when it has to do with uh, PBC, like the thing is, I was just talking about Jared Hurd, he moved up to 160, right? And I'm like, okay, yeah, you're moving up. Um, obviously for him it's for the weight cut, but when you talk about uh, financially wise, it's really like the biggest names when it comes to that division, Jamal, uh, Jamel, Jared, um, Tony, Tony Harrison now, Tony Harrison really because he beat Jamel. Um, and then obviously Julian Williams, he's still at the 154 division, um, but he could easily move up to 160. All these guys, you know, J Jamal can move up to 160 if he wanted to. It's like, like the thing about it is, there's not that many big names when it comes to the middleweight division, super middleweight division. Um, when it comes to uh, PBC, when it comes to the zone, they have all the names, right? So, um, you know, they're gonna fight whoever's gonna be put in front of them, but. As of now, you guys know there's a big rumor, uh, UFC, uh, Zufa, um, WME, Dana White, they're hopping into boxing in October, and a lot of people are possibly saying that they're going to end up buying PBC and they're going to change the whole game, so um, until something like that happens, um, unfortunately, you know, we're going to keep getting fights like this um, when it comes to guys like a Jamal Charlo, like a Jamel Charlo, uh, where you want to see him fight, you know, a Triple G or Canelo or, you know, Demetrius Andrade and things like that. Unfortunately, but what do you guys feel about this fight? Y'all excited for this fight? Y'all gonna tune into the fight? And who would you actually like to see um, Jamal Charlo fight if you know he had options? You know what I mean? Black TV, stay up, y'all.